Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bolts and Boost. As you can see behind me is our 2022 JL Jeep Wrangler. It is the four-door model. It is a unlimited Sahara, if that matters at all to you. But I'm gonna go through with you guys the top five things that my wife and I love about our Jeep. So in no particular order, just the order itself, uh, the number one, just the spot thing that we love about our Jeep is that it's it's a Jeep. It's uh, it's what makes a Jeep a Jeep, I guess. Um, it's versatile, capable, very, very customizable. It's like the Honda Civics of SUVs or off-roading, if you will. Um, it's just everything kind of wrapped into one, if you will. Uh, the vehicle we had before this was a J Jaguar F-Pace S. Very fast, high performance SUV, but you wouldn't want to take that all off road. Um, even though this is a much <laughs> slower SUV, it's it's more capable in the sense that if we wanted to go camping, we could go camping in the mountains with it. We could go off roading in it. It's just more capable off the showroom floor um, than I think pretty much everything that you can buy. Uh, I'm a Toyota guy through and through, for the most part as you can see. But um, as far as SUVs go, I, I still think that the Jeep Wrangler is just capable. It's awesome. It has um, very, very... Uh... And my video cut out. So what I was trying to say is that the approach angle is very high on the Jeep compared to, I think, pretty much every vehicle that you can buy brand new. So again, it's just capable. It's awesome. You can go on-road, off-road with ease and have peace of mind that you're in a Jeep. All right, so the next thing that we really like about the Jeep is there's little Easter eggs everywhere on this vehicle and we it's like we find new ones every day. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll show you. So you notice anything about the lights? That's a Jeep grill. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Not only that, but there's a Willys Jeep right here on the wheels. There's a Willys Jeep on the glass. Where else is, you know, Jeeps, little Jeeps everywhere. They're on the back wheels too, they're on all the wheels. See if I have the door unlocked, I can show you guys. No, I don't. But I'm pretty sure there's something behind here, there's a panel. I'm gonna go get the keys and show you guys. But there's just so many Easter eggs. Like you can see the Jeep there in the corner of the windshield. But that's just so cool. It's like, all right guys. So that's exactly what I was talking about right here. This little Jeep JL um, plaque, if you will. Really cool, real neat. Um, this, this vehicle definitely lets you know that you're driving a a Jeep and that it's trail ready <laughs> that is all over the Jeep as well so um, it's very cool I don't know if previous gens had all this stuff in it this is our first Jeep the wife's always wanted one so if they were in previous models this is the first time we're experiencing it um, apparently this too is like an accessory tray uh, a lot of people use it for camping put tables on it and stuff so let's move on to the next thing all right, moving on to the next thing. So the one thing that really sold us on this vehicle is we, we actually went to the dealership looking for a uh, SRT8 Jeep. And after driving the SRT8 Jeep, where we were not impressed with the interior whatsoever in the SRT8 Jeep, and my wife and I didn't want to leave empty-handed. So this vehicle was always on her wish list, so we test drove it, and we both fell in love with the interior. Um, there is no arguing that the interior is absolutely beautiful in these new Jeeps. Um, I've been in a couple previous gen Wranglers and they are not this nice. Um, I don't know where that ended and this started, but for the 2022 Jeep JLs, you get a phenomenal looking interior and this thing is loaded. So we have heated steering wheel, we have heated seats, heated steering wheel, we have all the bells and whistles. You have a nice big 8.4 inch, I believe, touchscreen infotainment system with the works, nav, Bluetooth, you name it. Um, the seats, however, they are leather. 
They're beautiful. We got these aftermarket though. So I actually have these in a, in a previous video. Um, these cost around $2,000 and we put them in and uh, we were indifferent. We, we, we really like the leathers, but the actual black cloth seats that these came with from factory were actually really nice still. Um, but you can get the leathers from, from uh, you know, brand new. We just did not, but um, yeah. So the interior in this thing is another thing that makes this 2022 Jeep JL just awesome to own. All right, so the next thing on the list is this power plant. This is the two liter turbocharged Hurricane four cylinder engine. Um, when they first came out in the Jeeps, I was very, very weary. Again, the wife has wanted one of these for a long time and we kind of stayed clear just because the interior wasn't, this is a while back, but they also started putting in these two liter engines. And after some time, and research, I found out that these engines are actually very capable, um, very um, mod friendly. There's the turbocharger right there. It also has, it looks like an electronic wastegate, which is the first time I've ever seen that. Um, I will be the first to tell you that this thing has tons of torque. Um, I will put the numbers up on the screen. I can't remember exactly, but there, it's just under 300 foot pounds of torque. I wanna say 293 and just under 300 horsepower. But with a couple of modifications, you can get that number to over 300 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque. And of course, this is a Jeep Wrangler, so there's tons and tons of modifications out there. And I'm gonna clump that kind of into this category. Um, the modifications for this thing are endless, both exterior-wise, powertrain-wise, interior-wise. So if you're getting into this thing, just know that you could definitely make this thing your own. And this engine is awesome. If, if you were worried about it in any shape, way, or form, don't be. Go out and test drive one, because this engine is awesome. The next thing I love about our Jeep is the stereo system. This thing has an amazing stereo in it. Um, it has a sub. And I'll have to count the speakers. I'll go ahead and count the speakers with you guys and show you the sub in the back. But it's an Alpine system and it sounds absolutely phenomenal in comparison to my brand new F-150 that costs more than this and also is fully loaded in its, in its class. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you the stereo in the Jeep. So after doing some digging, uh, I'm pretty sure our specific Jeep has six speakers. So it has a two on the dash two down below and then it has the two mids in the middle of the bar there and then it has the nice sub so either way it sounds incredible incredible especially in comparison to my truck so uh that's definitely one of the things we love about our 2022 jeep so obviously you can't have speakers in the door because you could take them off um, but there is speakers up on the dash and I believe there's speakers behind here on both sides. So we'll count that as four. And then you got some nice big speakers up on the bar up top. And then we'll go to the back. So there's the Alpine sub right there. Um, this thing pounds pretty good for factory. Um, I definitely like it. The wife thinks it's too powerful. So we got two up there, two on the dash, two down below, that's six. All right, so first off, you get this beautiful display, 8.5. Four inches, I believe, is what the display is. It's very intu intuitive. It's very easy to use. Um, however, I have issues with it just because I come to this from my F-150 and they're different. My F-150 has a 12-inch screen, so this one's a little smaller, which I don't mind, but it's just different. The interface is different. Now, I don't think this whole thing is Alpine, but I think the audio side of it is Alpine. Um, what I really do love about it though, um, it's kind of different than the whole audio package, but it, you have separate buttons for everything here. Um, so it's separate from the touchscreen. So you can use the touchscreen or you can use the push button. So that's a plus. But uh, let's go through the speakers right now. Uh, I think it's 552 watts too. So it's it's no slouch, but it's it's nothing crazy, but it's uh, it definitely suffices for our family. Um, it sounds great. All right, so now that I took you through the main reasons why we love this thing, last but not least on the list, of course, you're gonna say this is obvious. I know, but it still falls under a very good reason why people love Jeeps, and that's because the top comes off. 
I'm gonna go in the interior and show you exactly how you can configure it. We rented one of these in Hawaii in 2020, 2019, and uh, we took the two top panels off and it was just awesome. We, you don't have to take the whole roof and assembly off. So if you're thinking that, you don't have to. There's actually a really easy way of just taking the two front panels off and you can experience the outdoors just like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. You have a panel here, you have a panel there, and then you have your whole rest of your panel back. So if you wanted to, you could just take these front two off and there is a bag that should come with your Jeep. So you can see mine is wrapped in plastic there. And at least that's what we did in Hawaii. It came with a cover and we used the cover and we put the two top front panels in the back and we left the rest of the roof on like so. And we just had these top two off and it was awesome. It was like the full Jeep experience. Um, again, I'm not sure when they started doing this. I don't know if it's been since the beginning of these new Wranglers, since the four doors or not, but it's just what makes a Jeep awesome to own. Um, my wife and I absolutely love doing this. We haven't done it since we bought this new one yet though, because of our, we just have a, a newborn, a six month old, and we don't want the wind disrupting his sleep as, as we're driving. You can see the wrap is still on it. Still a fairly new vehicle, right? So we don't even have 2000 kilometers on this thing. But uh, we absolutely love this thing. Um, there are a few things that I don't like about the Jeep. So be sure to watch that video. Top five things I don't like about the Jeep. If I can find five things, there is a couple in mind right now. But uh, just know, if you get a Jeep, one of the things that make it absolutely awesome to own in the summertime, these babies can pop off. All right, everybody, there you have it. There is the top five things we love about our 2022 JL Jeep Wrangler. Four door, Sahara Unlimited, and the whole alphabet. Um, it's it's honestly a great vehicle to own. We are getting good gas mileage in it. It has, like I said, around 300 horsepower, 300 foot pounds of torque, which is plenty for what this vehicle is, and it's plenty to get you pretty much through anything you need to get through. So uh, it's been a great buy for us. If you're thinking of getting one, um, I do encourage you to go test drive one. Test drive all the models too. Um, they do have variations in the engine. The only thing that we not regret, um, well, sort of, we regret not trying the 4XE, which is the same engine, but it has an electronic um, assistant assistance engine. And from what we were told, you could just plug it into your wall. You don't need a special 220. So that would have been cool. We didn't even think of that, but uh, we are still very happy with our fully gas powered Four cylinder turbo 2022 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to check out other videos on the channel. There's lots of videos just like this and then some, my other cars. And if you like what you see, subscribe. All right, everybody, peace.